Mermaids, welcome back to the H2O YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the funniest conversations the mermaids had in season two. And for a bonus, we've included our top five personal favorites. Be sure to stick around to the end to find out which five. Cleo, Emma, Ash, this is Kelly, Mark, and Alicia. We went to school together till I moved here. Uh, Charlotte, where are all Lewis's friends? Guess that's us. <laughs> Anyone else find this a bit weird? It's weird. I don't get it. Why would you throw a party for someone and then invite a whole bunch of people they don't even know? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's not good. You broke my jet ski! Whatever. You are so lucky that my fishing rod's okay. It's, it's very expensive and it's top of the line, unlike your clapped out lawnmower that you ride, or used to ride around on. Are you stupid or something? You're gonna pay for this? Nate, I didn't touch your jet ski. <laughs> my fishing lure. Yes! See you, Nate. Heard the last of this. Come on, Cleo, you're not going anywhere. Can you feel that? Miko is calling us. Whatever. We're happier when we're mermaids. Yeah, we are. Let's talk about that. It's talking is good. Much happier. Click. <laughs> What are you guys doing here? We want you to come for a swim. Oh no, Ricky. <laughs> we want you to come with us. To Mako! <laughs> Mako? Why do they want to go to Mako? Uh, just ignore them. It's a little bit late for a swim, don't you think? Why don't you guys go back upstairs and relax? You can't hide yourself, Emma. Tell Ashy you really are. Are they all right? Yeah, they're fine. They're just messing around. Tell them the truth. He'll understand. <laughs> Ricky, Cleo, listen to me. <laughs> You're one of us, Emma. You guys have really gone and done it now. Ricky, you should have been more careful. Now, I'm going to do my best to help you, but you need to cooperate. <laughs> understand? <laughs> guys? I did it. I found my power. Please, you probably just imagined it. No, no, I really did it. Here, I'll show you. I say that? I just moved water. That's my power. I know. We can share. Besides, now you can show me how to use it properly. Great. Don't touch anything. Don't worry, I won't go anywhere near it. Well, I, I try not to breathe too much. <laughs> Sure. They're right by the door. You can't miss them. 
Charlotte can't handle me spending even one minute with Lewis. We are here to help. Come on, I'll give you a hand with the chairs. macho stuff is fun, but it's only one side of me. There's also the sensitive romantic side that sends flowers and chocolates. That was you. <laughs> and I've got something else for you. It's for your wallet. So I'm with you always. I'm speechless. Well, maybe that's because the time for speaking is over. <laughs> Very clever, Nate. Lewis, what are you talking about? You set me up. Well, you distract me with this karate junk. You pretend to help me while you move it on Cleo. Hey, you came to me, buddy. What are you guys talking about? Stay out of this, Cleo. This does not concern you. It's just about you. Oh, Lewis, you need to call off. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, our top five funniest H2O conversations. Coming in at number five. Poor Ash wasn't the only one left confused when Nate suddenly became irresistible to the mermaids. But it wasn't Nate's natural charm that had the girls bewitched. Okay, all I'm saying is just stay out of my personal life. <laughs> I'm not in it. The last thing I need is more girlfriend problems. Took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, Ash, did you see a little bottle on this table? No. Great, now it's lost. You know, I'll never understand women. I go out with Emma once, we have a great time, and the next time we meet, it's like I don't even exist. Huh? I think this whole sensitive guy thing doesn't work. I mean, look at Nate. The guy has no brains, no sensitivity, and he's surrounded. What? Emma's all over him in the juice bar. And Ricky. And Cleo. What, Nate? It's like they're mesmerised. Mesmerized. Number four. I wonder whatever happened to that lovely, unsuspecting couple that Cleo sent off to a roller coaster. She's down there. I can't convince her to come out. She's not listening to me. I've managed to keep people away so far. I'll but... stay. You guys go. Uh, sorry. You can't go down there. There's been some flooding. It's very dangerous. But I'd suggest the roller coaster. Number three, horse riding isn't for everyone and Emma didn't get off to a great start. It seemed one of Ash's horses thought she might enjoy a swim instead. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 come back. Okay. That's it, Rebel, come on. All right, hop off. We'll get another horse, something a little more suitable for beginners, all right? Be back in a sec. Trying to annoy him while we're gone. Come on. Don't give me any 
in trouble. Hey, you did that on purpose. Stop it. by the door. Number two, Cleo got completely the wrong end of the stick after listening in on a conversation between Lewis and Charlotte. I don't know what you think, but she's a bit unstable. Oh, I agree, totally unbalanced. It's not surprising given her shape. No, sometimes I think I was the only thing keeping her together. <laughs> the only thing keeping her together? Wanda, my weather and nautical data analyzer. Last time I tried to set her up, she collapsed. Yeah, she was a bit unbalanced. She is. Yeah, it's the shape. But then Charlotte made the ceramic stand and now she's rock solid. So, what are you doing out here? Just passing by. And finally, number one, who could forget when Emma was just desperate for a drink? It's like she's possessed. It's weird. It's not a full moon. What's going on here? Whatever it is, it's revolting. How can she eat that much fish? I'm thirsty. I'll get you a drink. Emma? Emma, no. Emma, Emma, what are you doing? Emma, get it, get it, get it. That's better. Nice one, guys. That's it for our funniest conversations of season two. Which clip was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>